the history of humankind still offers many unexplained moments. New scientific findings make experts and people with an interest in the origin of life on Earth sit up and take notice, as they broaden our perspective on the knowledge and abilities of our ancestors and in some cases, open up completely new perspectives and ways of seeing things. Are you fascinated by mysterious things and archaeological discoveries? Then show us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Hidden Worlds and join us on our journey. Oldest Proof of Life the oldest evidence of life on Earth has been found in 3.95 billion-year-old rocks from Labrador in Canada. The rocks date back to the Eoarchean era 4 to 3.6 billion years ago. During this time, our Earth had only a rudimentary atmosphere and oceans from which the first evidence of life emerged. Until now, researchers have based their theories about the origin of life on Earth on 3.7 billion-year-old rocks found in Greenland in 2016. The find in Labrador is 3.95 billion years old, 200 million years older than any other find. Geologists from the University of Tokyo stated that the materials found were created by microbes. The scientists focused their investigations on the detection of graphite, as previous research has shown that evidence of life is possible in graphite, which accumulates to form carbon isotopes. The carbon isotopes from the Labrador rock suggest that they were formed naturally and not contaminated over time. Future research will aim to analyze the composition of the graphite and accompanying minerals to identify these ancient organisms and gain new insights into the origin of life on Earth. The Mystery of a Human Clay Head A 2,100-year-old human clay head has fascinated Russian archaeologists since its discovery. Found among the graves of cremated humans in Hakasia in 1968, it immediately caught the eye of archaeologists when they examined the Shestakovsky burial mound. The clay head shows the likeness of a young man who was probably a warrior. Initial x-rays of the skull in 1971 revealed skull bones inside it that were much smaller than the clay head itself. At the time, further investigation would only have been possible by opening the clay skull, which would have meant its destruction. It took almost four decades for scientists to turn their attention again to this relic of the Tagar culture, which is known above all for its elaborate burial ceremonies. It was not uncommon for cremations to take place with more than 200 dead who were cremated together. The investigations led to the conclusion that the clay head does not contain the skull of a human being, but that of a sheep. The scientists suspect that the people of Tagar culture buried the dead in this unusual way because the body of the man was not found. Thus, entry into the afterlife was nevertheless ensured. Archaeologists know of several of these tombs called cenotaphs, in which an animal was buried as a symbolic substitute for the missing body of the dead man. Tel Caramel Tel Caramel is a Neolithic settlement mound in Syria near the Kuwait River. It's located 25 kilometers north of Aleppo and 65 kilometers south of the Taurus Mountains and raises 444 meters above sea level at its highest point. The first signs of life found at the site date back to 12,000 BC. The defensive structure discovered at Tel Caramel comprises of a total of five towers, one of which was built around 10,650 BC and is thus older than the Tower of Jericho. Closer investigations in 2006 discovered that the walls of the towers were half a meter to a meter thick and that individual structures were built several times in the same place. This suggests that the structure was partially rebuilt through destruction. The discovery of a 2 to 3 centimeter thick layer of charcoal found in and around the tower supports this theory and testifies to fire damage. Not far from the site are round residential structures that were partially sunk into the ground. Scattered throughout the settlement were stone cooking areas with pits meant for storing supplies. In the area, the archaeologists found a clay figurine in the shape of a bird, in addition to equipment for making arrows and pictorial representations of humans and snakes. Twelve graves with the remains of twenty adults, some of whom were missing their skulls, were also discovered at Tel Caramel. In some cases, only the skulls were buried. For burials in this era, it was customary to consign the body to the ground, but to bury the skull elsewhere in the house. Cave of Lascaux The Cave of Lascaux, with its cave paintings, which are classified as Franco-Cantabrian cave art, has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1979. 
The cave was discovered by four men on 12 September 1940, and in the same year, the first scientific paper was published that placed the origin of the cave paintings in the Perigordian period. The age of the finds falls within the period from 36,000 to 19,000 BC. In the following years, the artworks were catalogued and more than 1,400 copies were made before the cave was opened to the public in 1948. The cave paintings ranged from incised drawings to artistic drawings in which different colors were used. The color remains were examined with an electron microscope and the results confirmed the theory that the colors correspond to manganese and iron oxides from the surrounding area. In addition to the cave paintings, there were also numerous archaeological finds. Jewelry, tools and also stone artifacts were found during excavations. Altamira Cave just like the Lascaux Cave, the Spanish Altamira Cave is on the UNESCO World Heritage List and was discovered in 1868. Inside, there are around 930 images from the Paleolithic period, ranging from incised drawings to charcoal drawings and colored images. Among other things, the cave contains portraits of deer, horses and bison. The colors were applied with a feather or simply by hand. The cave was used between 33,600 and 11,000 BC until the cave entrance collapsed. The cave has not been open to the public since 1978. The cave paintings began to mold due to the warm breath of the tourists and the attached wooden railings. Murujuga Murujuga is another name of the Burra Peninsula in Western Australia. On the 27-kilometer-long and 5-kilometer-wide peninsula, there are 600,000 to 1 million petroglyphs made by Aborigines. These so-called petroglyphs are estimated to be up to 30,000 years old and show images of partly extinct animals such as the Tasmanian devil as well as emus, kangaroos and thousands of mythological signs of the indigenous people of Australia. The Burra Peninsula has been classified as one of the 100 most endangered monuments in the world by the World Monuments Fund since 2003. The petroglyphs have been listed among the 10 most endangered historic places since 2007. They have been partially protected by the Murujuga National Park since 2013, after about 25% of the petroglyphs had already been destroyed by industrialization. Theopetra Cave the Theopetra Cave is located in Thessaly, Greece, on the northeastern side of a limestone formation. Traces in the sedimentary layers in the 500-square-meter cave show that it was inhabited starting from the Middle Paleolithic through the Upper Paleolithic, Middle Stone Age, and Neolithic periods. Organic material found in the cave could be dated by radiocarbon examination and shows the presence of humans in the cave about 46,330 years ago. Neolithic Spirit Masks For the first time, the Israel Museum in Jerusalem is presenting 9,000-year-old Neolithic Spirit Masks. They were found in the Judean desert and are an eerie sight with their empty eyes and open mouths. The exhibition includes 12 limestone masks from the Neolithic period, all weighing 1 to 2 kilograms and all unique. Some of the masks appear to depict older people and some masks appear younger. They may have been intended to honor ancestors as part of a Stone Age religion. There remains much room for speculation, as these 12 Neolithic spirit masks are at least 3,500 years older than the earliest known writing. Areni-1 Shoe The Areni-1 Shoe was made of leather and found in 2008 in excellent condition in the Areni-1 cave in the Vyatsor province of Armenia. The shoe was discovered under a layer of sheep dung and was perfectly preserved by the dry and cool climate in the region. The condition is even so good that the laces are still preserved. It consists of a single piece of leather, is about 5,500 years old and thus several centuries older than the shoes of the glacier mummy Ötzi. The material was examined by two independent laboratories which dated the age to 3,500 BC. With a length of 24.5 cm and a width of 10 cm, the dimensions of the footwear correspond roughly to a size 37. It's unclear whether it was worn by a woman or a man, as men were considerably smaller at the time, and the shoe could therefore also have fitted them. The footwear was made from the skin of a pig or a cow. 70,000-year-old bracelet the bracelet was found in 2008 in the world-famous Denisova cave in the Altai region of Siberia. 
The age of the arm jewelry was estimated to be between 40,000 and 50,000 years old and was therefore not made by Homo sapiens but by the extinct species of Denisova people. New findings suggest that the jewelry could even be 65 to 70,000 years old. Clear evidence for this theory is not yet available, however, it is a fact that it's indescribably beautiful. During the day, it reflects the sun's rays, and at night, by the fire, it casts a deep green shadow. We hope to have entertained you with our video. In the future, we will present you with more videos on this and many other topics. What is your opinion on the topic? What did you think of the video? Please use the comment function for suggestions. We would be very happy to hear from you.